Today, we're looking at the Deepcool RF120M RGB fan. And I'm actually really impressed with these things. I spent a long time looking for the right fans for this water cooling setup that I'm putting together right now. And through that journey took me on many different routes. One of which is the amount of fans that are simply out of stock right now, everywhere you look. And so not only was it hard to find something, but it was hard to find something that I needed that was actually in stock. And I had a few options that I had to go through. I had a few things that I needed out of a fan. One thing was, is I had to have a fan that was PWM controlled. I didn't want to have a regular three wire fan. I wanted to have a four wire PWM controlled fan. Um, the second thing was, is that I wanted it to be RGB, but I didn't want it to be the RGB around the outside ring. I wanted the blades themselves to be RGB. And uh, that's actually a lot rarer than you would think. Most RGB fans have the ring that goes around the outside. And the third thing that I needed was it had to be the old style 12 volt RGB, which is virtually impossible to find on anything nowadays. So it left me with a couple options. For one, I could use the SP120 Corsair fan, but the RGB version of that fan is $70 for a three pack. So I was looking for a cheaper alternative and that's where I found this. These are the Deepcool RF120M. These fans are basically a knockoff of the SP120 Corsair fans. And not only are they a knockoff, but their specs are actually better. So let's go through the specs real quick. I didn't realize how much of a clone these fans were to the Corsair static pressure fans until I actually started doing research for this video. Going over the specs, I wanted to compare these to the Corsair fans based on just price bracket. And I just assumed that the specifications on the fans themselves were gonna be way worse than the Corsair. But it was actually kind of surprising um, how close they really are. Um, these right here, first off, let's start out with that these fans were $45 on Amazon. And the Corsair fans go for about $70 for a three pack. So same number of fans and similar um, accessories come with it. Uh, this one doesn't come with an RGB controller like the Corsair fan does, but um, it does come with a PWM hub and things of that nature. So um, these fans are 120 millimeter, 120 millimeter by 25 millimeter. These fans are hydro bearing, just like the Corsair fans. These ones here are PWM between 500 and 1500, which is actually a little bit better. The Corsair fans are 1400 is the max RPM on the RGB fan. Um, we're comparing these to the Corsair RGB, being that they're both um, RGB fans. Um, the static pressure on this one is 1.66 millimeter compared to 1.45 millimeter on the Corsair fan. Um, these ones put out 56.5 CFM while the Corsair RGB fan actually puts out 52 CFM. So these ones are a little bit, a little bit more air pressure. And um, the only thing the Corsair fan has these ones beat on is noise level. These ones are 27 decibels and the Corsair RGB are 26 decibels. But hopefully if you're not at the highest RPM range, it's not going to be too much of an issue. And it's one decibel. I don't think it's that big of an issue. And it's, um, a lot less money so it might be worth it so just like the Corsair fans these ones have the rubber isolated corners um, at the mounting point locations and they can be daisy chained the RGB at least can be daisy chained all right let's take a look inside so the packaging is pretty normal all right on top here we have looks like an accessory box let's open this up and in here we have the PWM hub. So this right here will take the PWM signal from your motherboard and it will transmit it to up to, it looks like four fans. It's only going to actually read the RPM off of one of those fans, but it will adjust the RPM on the other fans to suit. So, and then also in here, we have the RGB sync cable. So these fans actually come with a proprietary RGB plug, but they daisy chain all together. And then they have an adapter here that you can adapt to plug it into a regular RGB controller. And then we also have, it looks like fan screws. You can never have too many of those. All right, so let's take a look here. We've got 
the fans neatly stacked inside of here. So the fan themselves actually look really close to the Corsair. Um, it has more of a solid frame on it. The frame isn't as ornate as the Corsair fans. But other than that, the blade design is really close and they look really good. They definitely look better than cheap fans. They look really nice actually. So the kit here comes with three fans, all RGB and all PWM. So let's install these in the computer and see how they look. Alright, I got the fans installed and as you can see, they look pretty good actually. Look a whole lot better than the original fans that were in the case. So from a noise level standpoint, you can hear them. They're not silent, but uh, they're not bad actually. Compared to the fans that I had in there before, they're comparable at least. They're at least in the same category. Let me um, put a microphone in front of them real quick so you can kind of get an idea of what they sound like. So. Right now, it's on silent, so as you can hear, that's about what you're going to hear in silent mode. And now, here they are at full speed, so you can hear kind of the sound difference. There's a pretty good difference in sound between 500 RPM and 1500 RPM, obviously, but um, I, I don't think they're too bad. I think they sound pretty good. There was a build quality issue that I was kind of concerned with. Um, I'm using this fan as just an example, obviously, because these fans are installed right now. But uh, the area in the frame where the wire actually comes from the center hub motor over to the side right here, uh, most fans have these little plastic clips formed into the frame. And while this these ones do, they... Um, the wire falls out really easy. So it doesn't take much to have the wire fall out of that frame and you have to kind of reroute it and stick it back in. Um, other than that, they were actually quite decent. Um, the PWM wire is relatively short for a fan, but it wasn't too short to where I couldn't route them easily. Um, obviously the fractal design one that I have right here has a really long PWM cable on it, but um, these ones were probably a third of the size of this one, but that's okay. There was less wire to manage when everything was all said and done. Um, other than that, I'm pretty happy with them. I don't know how long they're actually going to last, but we'll have to wait and see how they go. Uh, if I have any other issues with them, I'll make sure to make a video about it. So let's take a closer look at how these fans look. And there you go. 
Not bad looking fans for $45. So I'll leave a link in the description on where you can get yourself a set of these. If this video was helpful to you, then don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. We have a couple more videos left in this water cooling series, so you don't want to miss them. Have a good day.